Chef Roy Choi. What's up, sir? Hey, what's up? <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. So thank you for having us. We are sitting at the cafe at the Lion Hotel. Yep. One of the many establishments that you have founded we call it and F, owned. We call it F Cafe. F Cafe. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I just figure like no one... Like coffee in many ways and cafes are so gentile, you know? Yeah. In, in, in many ways they are and they're very like... They're always... Not always, they're always like really pristine or, or like or homey or mm -hmm. or like brown. And I just felt like if we just do a big fat F, <laughs> you know, like no one, you know, it doesn't go with coffee, but like right. the word cafe has an F in it. So like, Let's talk about the food that we have in front of us. So this came from the bakery. Yes. Can we describe what we have in front of us? What is this? So here what we have is a black sesame mochi cake, butter mochi cake. And here is the uh, red bean bun. Okay. And, um, and this is our red bean ice with condensed milk, little bits of mochi. Uh, we made a sesame brittle and then uh, we do a, a acorn grain powder, sweet grain powder on top. And we mix it all up. Sounds good. And um, yeah, and then so the, the idea was to take a lot of these treats that you grew up around. A lot of them are, they're so delicious, but they're they're built from a lot of frozen doughs and stuff like that. Right, right. And so what we wanted to do was like treat it like any bakery would treat their danishes or their their croissants you know that same kind of you know artisan look at things you know so we make the dough in house we we cook the red beans we, we we make all of the paste and then build everything just like any boulangerie would build it but instead of you know french baguettes we get butter mochi you know? that, that's what we got i love how you incorporate sophistication because you know what they say like you eat with your eyes yeah, as yeah. well as your, your mouth so i'm um, definitely appetized right oh that's now. nice thank you for saying that <laughs> you know let's talk about another restaurant you have here at the line hotel commissary you just opened commissary so congrats on that thank you um what was the concept behind the menu because i know that with all of your restaurants you have you know you always incorporate like a certain type of soul but they're all different and unique in their own right so what makes commissary different commissary is deep really do. It's, it's a restaurant. First of all, it's in a greenhouse and it looks over the city in, in one of the illest, like the most beautiful settings you could imagine. So we wanted to create a little bit of a gateway restaurant where you just come in, people feel comfortable, but when they're ordering, they wouldn't know it, but they're, they're, they're just eating a lot more vegetables and fruits than they normally would have. It's, it's also a place where we have no words on the menu. We're challenging your perception and your emotions. And, I, I, and, and it surprised me how sometimes people can get mad at the fact that there's no words on the menu and they're only pictures. Right. But then that starts to help me understand what is it that's going on in there, in the way they're approaching the food. And I want to just, I want, I guess it's a restaurant where I'm trying to shake everything up mm -hmm. from vegetarianism to classism and to what you expect so that I can so that I can put you in this this kind of state of being where you don't none of your previous references can set you up for this and then you're almost like a newborn you're newborn so you wow. can accept it all again I told you it was deep that's sick, no? <laughs> yeah. really but that, that that's that. commissary now before we wrap up I definitely want to congratulate you on your CNN series Street oh, Food for sure. that's going to be premiering October 13th that's a big one let's talk about that because yeah. I watched the trailer and it surprised me to see who you had as your guest yeah because I was assuming oh it's a, it's a show Roy, Roy Choi he can have chefs on there but you don't so let's go ahead and talk yeah, about yeah Street your Food became um, as we grew with the concept in the show it became more abstract than literal you know so then street food started to evolve into like food is is more than just what you eat maybe it's the knowledge that you get maybe it's street knowledge maybe it's history maybe it's the food for thought you know and what's going on maybe it's the streets themselves and what they're what they're telling us about fashion about music about life about this about about you know creating content about trying to find your own voice trying to express yourself you know so um, what I tried to do in the first season was find people that not only can that inspire me and that I can learn from but that through that conversation that we could 
give you something where these people have connected in some way or another to the streets and could could help you with their kind of words of wisdom. It's really, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm really proud of the show. I'm really proud of it because <laughs> it's a huge platform. And for an Asian guy like me to be able to say whatever the fuck I want to say, to show whatever I want to show, and to be and to show that in a very sincere and kind and and curious way, you know, and and just give it to the world exactly how it is, you know, um, and and then for that to not be doctored or I don't know, like. To not be neutered in many ways, you know, like, yeah, maybe it would be great to have an hour, but we have five minutes, and with these five minutes, we have an opportunity to build something bigger. Just like your parents probably came to this country, my parents, any, any, anyone coming up, you know, we'll see what's up. You know, I'd love to take this to other cities, like do yeah, the, this. <laughs> yeah, 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 go to Detroit, Seattle, Chicago, and then hook up with friends and stuff, you know. You know, you definitely put the five minutes and applied it to just all of our lives. Like, honestly, with minorities, we don't really get the opportunities that other people do. And the fact that you're kind of, you know, rounding it up and taking that five minutes as, you know, a blessing and not a not a burden, yeah, you know what I mean, and not a shortcoming. I mean, that's that's everything. And I think that speaks uh, to everyone as, like, as far as how you are as a person and how you approach everything that you do. So I think that's... That, that, well, I'm glad you noticed that. I mean, if I, if there's any like dime store advice I can give to anyone is that you know I still live my life every day being kind of appreciative and as a blessing, you know, like. And then if I'm given five minutes, then that's five minutes. You know, I mean, that's five minutes. Like, right. why am I looking? You know, I don't like to let greed, you know, dictate what I'm gonna choose. Like. Yeah, you know, like, I'll leave it with that. Like, yeah, I would love to have an hour, you know, on on TV. But you know what? I got five minutes on digital. Let's do it, you know? Let's do it. Because I know if we cr create good content, it's going to get somewhere. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Chef Roy Choi, thank you so All much right. for sitting with us and having us here. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and see since I was too engaged listening to you. I'm going to have to eat all of this. Yeah, try the red <laughs> bean. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank you again, and hopefully I see you.